Hey everyone, welcome. This is the geometry practice test for 10 ready, question number two. The isosceles trapezoid RSTU with K is a midpoint, L is a midpoint, M is a midpoint, and N is a midpoint is shown. So you have the picture. I don't. They gave you a lot of information. They're just telling you it's exactly a midpoint. They're trying to tell you to that you can feel it safe in knowing that RK and KS are the same, this and this are the same, this and this are the same, so on and so forth. Um, point P is the intersection of KM and NL, which means this could essentially act as an axis, long story short. Uh, which transformation carries the trapezoid onto itself? Which means, what can you do and end up with the same exact shape that you started with? So we're going to look at that a little bit. Uh, rotation, rotation again. Now, you can't really use the rotation rule here. You just have to think, like, what does a rotation even look like? So if I do a 90 degree clockwise rotation, that's going this way. And I'm going to turn it one fourth of the shape. So it's essentially going to be... Now again, you're going to have to lie to yourself because I'm drawn with a program that won't really let me draw straight lines and I can barely draw straight lines anyway. So this is what a 90 degree clockwise rotation looks like. Take it from this point, spin it, you're good to go. For 180 degrees, that's all the way around. So that's going from like you know, one o'clock down to six. So I'm just going to flip it upside down. It's going to look like that. Now, based on my keen observational eye, I can tell you that this and this don't look like this. It's not the same direction. My, you know, youngest children could tell you that that's not true. So, oh well, those are out. Now we're looking at reflections. Now you may remember from the last problem, a reflection is sort of like I'm going to fold it over the middle. So if I can find a line that I can fold it down, like uh, folding your paper, depending on where you've been in school, you have your, somebody says like fold a hot dog, which is long ways, and then hamburger is, you know, when you're a little kid, fold your paper hamburger, which is where you f make it folded in half exactly. We're going to try to make a uh, folded hot dog style or folded hamburger style like you do in a first grade classroom, I guess. So if I flipped this over a line in L, or reflected it, this point would end up right down here. This point would end up right down here. This point would end up up here. And this point would end up up here. Now, again, as we've stated earlier, my keen observational eye would say that this original one does not look like this nasty thing that I've drawn. Even if I could draw straight lines, it would not look like that. So that's out. Our last choice, of course, is what happens if we reflected it over KM. This one right here, that's likely our answer. If I fold it this way, which I guess would be hot dog style, R goes over here, this one goes over here, this one would go over here and here. That's why it's the midpoint, because in order to go to a line of reflection, I have to go the same distance and then that distance again away, uh, past it. So I'd go there and then I'd go there. So T would become U. L would become N, S would become R. Uh, technically, it'd be S prime, L prime, and T prime, but, you know, they'd be in the same spot. And then these would move over there. So that gives me a perfect, nice folded up, and it would look exactly the same once I unfolded it again. So I'm going to say a reflection over KM is an appropriate answer for number two.